Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful endgame study for you composed by a Georgian chess composer Gia Nadareishvili. It's white to move and win the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, let's have a look at the position. Right now, black is threatening bishop takes d4 and checkmating white king. Or c1 queen and again checkmating. So, by promoting one of your pawns to a queen, you can't avoid one of those checkmating threats. So, in this position, white comes up with a brilliant idea and plays bishop e3, sacrificing the bishop and also opening up this d file. In order after bishop takes e3, promote the pawn to a queen with a check. But it turns out that black has a very strong defensive strategy, king c1. So, white has to be very careful, because if you promote one of your pawns to a queen, for example, g8 queen, then black has this amazing bishop d4 check, and after queen takes d4, this is a stalemate and a draw. Let's go back. And it turns out that white has only one winning move, and that move is... Can you find that move? Queen sacrifice, queen g5. Offering a whole queen and at the same time pinning the bishop. Already you can't play bishop d4 and checkmate white king. Black takes on g5. And now black bishop is threatening bishop f6 checkmate. So in this position white has to promote his pawn to a knight in order to cover this f6 square and avoid getting checkmated. By the way, this knight promotion and preventing getting checkmated by a single bishop reminds me of a Plaskett's famous puzzle. Black now plays bishop e3, this time threatening a checkmate on d4. And now again, white has to be very careful. If you play, for example, h8 queen, then black again has this bishop d4 sacrifice and after queen takes d4, this is a stalemate. So, instead of promoting to a queen, white promotes his pawn to a bishop. What a beautiful study. This is, these are just moves dropped down from another planet. This is a fantastic puzzle. Now comes king d1 and only now white can promote to a queen. c8 queen, c1 queen check. Queen takes c1, king takes c1, and the rest is very easy. You have to kick away this king from c1 square and release your king. And then capture on a3. By the way, white has to capture and exchange only the bishop. Otherwise, you will not manage to win the game because this a8 square is of a white color. So, for example, knight e7, king c2, knight c6. If bishop c1 threatening bishop b2 followed by a takes b2 checkmate, white has this knight b4 check, king d2 and king b1 and white is winning. Or instead of playing bishop c1, if you play a move like bishop g5, then now comes knight b4 check, king c1, bishop e5, bishop h6, Bishop f4 check, bishop takes f4, knight d3 check, king c2, knight takes f4, and white is winning the game. What a brilliant endgame study. Your comments and questions please, and thanks for watching. Good luck.